Welcome back to the Poetry Club Online. We're back in the lecture theater at the North Battleford Library. I have a few poems for you today, so I guess we'll get started. This one is called November, and it was written April 8th, 1996. The second last month of the calendar year, in between Thanksgiving and Christmas cheer, the 11th, a day to remember war scarlet poppies and thoughts of days of yore. Long past were the colorful days of fall. The trees are bare, daylight hours begin to pall. The north winds do, do blow with a chilling grip. Skies are gray and icy sidewalks dare to trip. Orange and camouflage colors fill the forest. A bullet sings through the air to test. The fleetness of foot by buck or doe. A trail of blood for the hunter to know. The flakes of snow won't be melting away as it blankets the ground for children to play. Old man winter is advancing with blustery wings. We dream about weather that spring will bring. Back to snow. Snow in September. It's hard to believe. It can happen and frequently does. This one was written October 1st, 1996. So it must have been snow. It had just happened a few days before when I wrote this. When snow arrives in September, it catches everyone by surprise. People want autumn until November not snowballs between the eyes. Icy sidewalks and slippery streets, a wet and white blanket covers all. Shoveling the sidewalks isn't a treat. Cars driving by appear to crawl. Children are merry creating snowmen. Not a care in the world have they. For farmers with harvest to contend, they know now there'll be a delay. Chances are this snowfall won't last. Most times it's gone the next day. It serves as a reminder from the past. Old man winter is coming our way. That old man winter. <laughs> oh, now we're gonna swing to the opposite. I've got one called Tropical Island and it was written February 2nd, 1997. An enchanted Eden with multi-shades of green, golden sun-drenched days and star-studded romantic nights. Crystal clear blue waters surround the fertile island. Oiled bronze bodies adorn the beach in the sunlight. Cascading falls roar over the edge of a cliff. Lush tropical vegetation abound everywhere. Delicate exotic blossoms emit heady perfume Palm trees sway to and fro in the warm sea air. Time does appear to stand still on the magical island, even when the torrential rains shroud the island in gray. Tranquil moments help one take time to reflect on life. An earthy paradise leaves one with a message to stay. And now we're going to Easter Bunny time. This one was written April 1st, 1997. The Easter Bunny makes his way to all the houses one by one. When the sun begins to rise and the night is all but done. With his bottomless basket of colored and chocolate treats, he travels countless miles using only his two big feet. A pity he doesn't stay to observe all the happy faces that his treasured treats do bring to oh so many places. He's gone to rest again until another year goes by. There's many happy dentists and a lot of parents that cry. <laughs> and my final one is not about a place but more about a feeling. It's called Foolish Fear and it was written March 27th 1997. 
Looking like a fool is one of my greatest fears, be it with strangers or people I hold dear. Please don't tell me it happens to everyone. I haven't noticed it when all is said and done. My very person is exposed for all to see. To shrug these things off is difficult for me. I must laugh things off knowing people will forget. And if they don't, it will make a good story yet. Well, I hope you enjoyed those poems today. And like I said, please feel free to share with our ref.desk at lakeland.lib.sk.ca if you would like me to read some of your poems online. So until the next time, we'll hear from the lecture theater. Um, you take care and I hope you join us again.